Yo, what's up guys, it's Team Beast here, back with another Roblox Skyblox video. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make a fully automatic AFK berry farm system in Skyblox. So if you guys are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, drop a like, and also turn the notification bell to never miss out a new video. I'm actually hosting a 1 billion coins giveaway in Skyblox. So if you guys want to have the chance to win 1 billion coins, all you have to do is to subscribe, drop a like, and also join my Discord server so you can actually attend the giveaway as well. The link will be down in the description below. And before I start this video, I would like to give a huge shout out to Carbon Master for actually coming up with this idea and um, his channel link is going to be down in the description below. And let's get the video started. So as you guys know, or if you guys did not know, they actually changed the conveyor belt quite a bit. So now the conveyor belt can actually move to your own character on the um, on the self as well. So let me actually show you guys this brand new bear farm system. It's actually pretty cool. So let's get started. So right here, boom, here it is, guys. Look at this. So after the um, the new update, they have like this small patch where you can actually get yourself on the um, on the conveyor belt, and you're gonna start moving slowly like this, like this. As you guys can see, I'm not moving or anything, it's just moving forward by itself. So the conveyor belt actually have the force to push your own Roblox character all the way forwards, okay? You guys can see right here, you can move myself all the way forward right here, and that makes it, we can actually make these um, berry farm automatic. So as you guys know, berries uh, has always been the easiest crop to harvest, and you can always get berry pretty easily because you don't have to replant them, which is pretty good. Okay, so let me explain how this bear farm system works. And um, it's actually kind of different because if you go to the um, teleport here and go to visit, you can see I actually spawned right here. So these two blocks are the um, the spawn point right between it. And the reason why I put a conveyor ramp is here is because that if you put a regular conveyor belt here, you're going to actually glitch yourself into the conveyor belt and you're not going to move normally. But if you put like a conveyor ramp right here, make it one block lower like or two blocks lower here. And when you spawn in, you're going to automatically drop on this conveyor belt right here. I mean conveyor ramp. So if I go to teleport again, you can see it's never going to glitch myself into the um, the conveyor ramp. But if you put like a conveyor belt here, it might actually glitch your own character into the conveyor belt. And it's not going to work very fine or anything. So let me show you how this works. So you need to, first you start with the conveyor ramp here. Make it two block lower down here, okay? Then just start expanding your conveyor belt all the way down here. Make it as long as you can. Make it super long so you can um, actually get a lot of berry harvest and stuff. And I actually tried this different method a couple of times where um, I actually find out two berry bushes on each side is actually the most efficient method. Because if you use my method, if you put too many berry bushes on the side, you might not be able to get this down very easily. So I decided to use two so I can just make a lot longer of these conveyor um, bales in the bear farm. So let me show you how this actually works. So. So as you guys can see, I spawn in at the spawn point right here, so I click on visit, and boom. So it started slowly pushing me forward right here, okay? It started slowly pushing me forward all the way to the end. So if I go all the way to the end, you guys can be see how this works. So let's see, let's go all the way to the end here, and boom. So here's like a dropping point, and here's this part is very important, okay? You're gonna want to hold like an item where you're um harvesting these berries. So for example, I, I'm gonna use the Glad of Stale pickaxe here. Make sure you're holding something because if you're not holding something, you're gonna get stuck at the end of this conveyor bar right here, okay? Make sure you're holding something so you don't get stuck over here. So if I don't hold something, look, this is what happens, all right? So I'm gonna make this slowly moving and look at this. It's actually gonna glitch itself into the uh, on the end of the conveyor belts. So three, two, one, and boom. Oh, never mind. Never mind. That actually worked. But sometimes you can actually get glitched at the end. Like sometimes you can actually get glitch at the end. Like it would just like make you climb on the side on the edge. Let me try it again. So let me actually test it again. Do I need really see? Sometimes it would glitch yourself onto the conveyor ramp, but what if I faced forward? Would that be okay? Let me see. Yeah, actually, never mind. You don't even need to hold anything. Never mind. Yeah. So if I if I just go like this, and you start harvesting this, right? Start harvesting this, and you all the way to the end, right? Let's say you did like an entire harvest right here, and if you go all the way to the end, it's gonna spawn you back right back at the beginning. So three, two, one, and zero. 
Boom. See, you guys see this? It spawned me right back at the beginning again. That's where my spawn point is. So this is pretty much, pretty much like a fully automatic AFK unlimited berry farm system. So you don't really have to do anything. You just have to do, um, uh, let me show you guys how I can use this as like a AFK auto clicker thing. So if you go to use this program called Tiny Task, as you guys already know, I use this program a lot. So if you go here, turn on continuous playback right here, continuous playback, click on preferences, click on continuous playback, set your recording hockey and set your playback hockey. So I usually do F8 and I usually do Control Shift LP. Make sure you set these two keys, otherwise you can't really do this program or use this program. So continuous playback, one time speed, okay. Um, let me see, one time speed, two time speed, and boom, okay. So what you need to do is that you actually need to do like, stand this right here, okay? So I have my key set up on the first right here, okay? You have to find like a perfect camera angle. So let's see how this works. Let's actually find like a super perfect camera angle so we don't have to switch ever again. So we're gonna zoom out once, one, two, three, four, and five, okay? So we'll have five right here, five and six. Five, actually five is perfect. So zoom out five times, okay, like this. Zoom out five times. And what you need to do is that, okay, so don't even move your camera. So let's go back here, stand right here, in the middle right here, and face two or forward. One, two, three, four, five, okay? Right here. So now what you have to do is that you have to actually walk onto the conveyor belt, and I'm gonna start pressing um, F8 so I can start recording, all right? So F8. Let me go on the, let me walk on the conveyor belt, okay? F8, so now what you have to do is that press F, spam your F key, okay? So just spam your F key, spam your F key, okay? Just spam your F key, okay? Like that, just spam your F key, all right? And boom, spam your F key like that. Just spam it like that, all right? Spam your F key. And, let's see, boom. And you're recording and go all the way back to the end. And let's see how this turns out. Let's see how good this actually is. So let me change the com and let me change the playback speed to two. And um, make sure the continuous playground is ah, perfect. So now to do that, let's go back here. Let's actually go zoom out six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. So I'm now now I'm gonna press Control Shift LP to play it back. Okay. And boom, guys, look at this. Hold on, Just look at this. You guys see this? I, I don't have to touch anything. Like, it's doing it all by itself. You guys see this? It's doing it all by itself. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. Very, oh my goodness. Look at this, boys. Look at this. Oh my goodness. It's doing it all by itself. You can literally just turn this on for like a night. You can get the tons of berries. I can actually make this a lot better. Yeah, I can actually make this a lot better. Yeah, the camera angle wasn't that good. So let me let me try this again. Okay, let me go back here and try it again. Okay, so stand right here. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think five is actually perfect, or maybe six. I don't know. I'm just gonna do like spam like right here. Okay, this area. So I'm gonna start recording again, F8. So I'm gonna walk on the ramp and press F8 right here and press F like that. Spam, spam your F, spam your F, spam your F like that. Spam it. Spam it really fast. Spam it and move your mouse, okay? Move your mouse like this. Spam it. Like that. Spam it, spam it, spam it, spam it, spam it, spam it. Okay, so now I just finished recording. Let's actually test out how good this is. So let's go back here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, let's try it. I'm not touching my keyboard or anything right now. Guys, check this out. Check this out. I'm not touching my keyboard or anything at all. Check this out. Should I make it like, should I make it one time speed? Because I feel like it's skipping a lot of various. Yeah, let's make it one time. Okay, let's make it one time. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, let's, now let's try. Now let's try. Is it getting all the berries? Yeah, it's getting most of the berries. Not too bad, not too bad. Look at this. I can literally just turn this on for like a night. I can get like a tons of berries. I can actually make this a lot better if I want to. I just need like a friendly, I just need to find like a perfect camera angle where I can just get all the berries. What about this? 
This mod should be perfect, just look at this. So if I do F, 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 yeah, I can actually get all these berries if I press F over here. Look at this. Yeah, let me try this out. Let me let me actually try this out. So if I go all the way to the end and use that camera and go again. So right here and um, face forward right here, F8. So F8, three, two, one, zero, F8. Start spamming your F keys like that. Start spamming it like that like that okay so now if i stop press f8 and now if i play it back let, let, let's try this let's try how this works so now if i play this back um control shift lp let's see how this turns out oh my goodness guys look at this look at this oh my goodness look at this holy moly yo it's getting all the berries by itself oh my goodness so this is the, this is getting all the berries by itself, and once it reaches to the end, it actually drops all the way back from the spawn again. Oh my goodness! Look at this, boys! Look at this! So many berries! Like I, I'm not even touching my keyboard; it's doing it all by itself. So once I reach to the end, I think I'll actually um drop at the beginning again. Oh my goodness! This is actually this is actually pretty good. I'm actually totally shocked. Look at this. Anyone can use this method. The tiny task um, program is also going to be in my Discord server as well. Just go to my Discord and um, click on files, and you, sh you should be able to find this program. Look at this! Oh my goodness! Infinite berry farm system. But once I reach to the end, it's gonna spawn me all the way back at the beginning again. I think so, right? Look at this, boys! Oh my goodness! So if I drop here. And boom, guys, you guys see this? Infinite berry farm system. Look at this. I'm back at the beginning again. So yeah, that'll be it for this video. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure you drop a like. Please subscribe. It helps me a lot, boys and girls. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you also turn the notification bell to never miss out a new video. And thank you, thank you, thank you. It's your boy, Steven Beast. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.